Hello everyone, it's Elena and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys a day in my life as an exchange student in Germany. Now I normally study at Cambridge and this is my year abroad but I am actually German which is why I'm studying from home because I have a room at home in Germany and so I don't need to stay at university during the lockdown and I'm only going back to university when I have an in-person class. So the first thing I do after I get dressed is I make my bed because I know myself I will fall right back into it if I don't make my bed first thing. And yes, I also do have my iPad in bed with me when I sleep because I listen to sleep stories throughout the night. Next, it was time to fix my hair because I sleep with this big braid. So I just got out all the things that I need for my hairstyle. By the way, if you guys are interested in this bun that I made, I have a video about my 5-minute hairstyles for university and I have linked it for you guys in the info box below in case you want to recreate that style. So there we go, I just made a quick bun with some braids around it because my hair is too long to just fit into a bun like that. And then it was time to turn my slightly sleepy face into a more awake version. And yeah, here's the result. And next it was time to put on all of my accessories. So I love wearing rings and other accessories because I think they really add something to the outfit. So I just put on the rings that I normally wear on a daily basis. And then I also put on my watch, which brings us to the amazing sponsor of today's video, which is Nordgreen. They gifted me this beautiful watch and I also have a 35% discount code for their Black Friday time for you guys. I will link that in the info box below and you can also see the code on the screen right now. But I absolutely love the watch and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about Nordgreen later on in the video. But for now, let's get back to my day in the life. So here's a little outfit of the day in case anyone was interested. I basically just went with a kind of white outfit. I tend to dress up a little bit even for online classes because I think it kind of helps my brain because it realizes it's work time and not wear your sweatpants and watch Netflix time. So after I had breakfast, I then went back to my desk and then it was time to get to my emails because I had allowed them to go up to 35 unread emails, which is not great. So yeah, time to write some emails and also can we just appreciate my desktop background for just a second? I thought it kind of funny. And yeah, it was still pretty dark outside even though it was like 7am so yeah, it wasn't the best day but that's okay. So I just wrote lots of emails. I tend to take forever writing emails but I think it's also okay because I get a lot of emails from subscribers and I just try to you know respond in detail and actually write a meaningful response so yeah. I ended up being able to narrow my emails down to 12 unread ones, which is pretty good in my opinion. And then it was time for reading a little bit over a case that I had actually already read, but I was preparing for a meeting that I have about a presentation about that case. So I basically just speed read it and highlighted anything that I may have missed that was relevant. But basically I just wanted to prepare myself for the meeting with the other student, which room I'm going to do the presentation. And we have to do it in international criminal law and procedure. And the presentation makes up 50% of her grade, so it's quite important to me. Now I stopped doing that at around 8am because then it was time for my class on German private law. So basically I just sat down at my desk with um, my statute book, which is where all the written laws are in and just took notes as the class went along. This is what the statute book looks like for German private law. Basically, we just work our way through certain rules within that book and we talk about the meaning of it and stuff. And here are my notes from that lecture. And yeah, after the lecture, it was time to move on to another subject, which is international law. So I'm also taking a course on the law of international relations and I had to work through a lesson in that subject. So I took out my statute book for that one and then I basically just work myself through it. Now here we don't have a lecture like we did with the private law one, but instead we just work our way through the virtual learning platform. So here you can see, you can just see your progress and you may have to read something, like here I had to read a blog article which was related to what we were doing um, in the online lesson and I just take notes on what I read and pretty much just work my way through the lesson online. It's actually really, really fun because you get quizzes along the way and you kind of see your progress throughout the lesson. It's actually really, really nice in my opinion. So yeah, then it was time for me to get some lunch and I actually met my mom in the kitchen because she had the day off and she was making some noodle salad. So I just grabbed some of that and ate it for lunch and it was really, really good. After lunch, it was time to get back to my desk because I still hadn't finished that law of international relations class. So back to work. So basically I just go through the class, I do have my statute book with me all the time because usually the class will refer to certain rules within certain conventions, so you can just quickly open up the convention and actually read the original rules so that you know what you're reading about. And here's my finished notes from the class 
as you can see it got to quite a few notes but um, I think it's really really useful when you have these notes because then you have something that you can base your revision notes on and I would just like to say I actually managed to get a 7 out of 7 on the quiz which is kind of nice and yeah we completed 100% of the lesson and yes I managed to get a score of 100 out of 100, which I was just really, really proud of. So I just finished the discussion part of my international law class. So basically we all work through the virtual learning platform by ourselves. And then we have a little discussion with our professor later on about what we learned. Now, obviously I couldn't film during that discussion part, um, but now I have a few minutes until I have a meeting with another student about a presentation that we're doing together. And so I thought I'd talk to you guys about the amazing sponsor of today's video, which is North Green. They sent me this beautiful watch, which you may have seen in some of my previous videos before, just with a different band because I used to wear it with another one. I'm just gonna insert a clip here where you can see what the watch looks like with the other band. I think it looks amazing with both bands, but I wanted this darker band for winter because I think it fits the season a little bit better. But I think the watch looks good with either band. Now, the reason I love this watch is because it is such a minimalist design that works with pretty much everything that I have in my wardrobe and it is not very chunky, so a small person like me can also wear it very well. Um, which I really, really appreciate. The amazing thing about North Green is that when you buy a watch from them, you can also do something good for the planet because you can donate at no extra cost to you to a charitable cause. So all you have to do is you enter the information about your watch that you get when it's shipped to you on the North Green website, and then you pick one of the free causes to which they can donate on your behalf. So you can either help get clean water to people in the Central African Republic, or get education to children in India, or help preserve the rainforest in Latin America. And you just select one of the causes that you want the money to go to and then Nord Green will be donating on your behalf. So it's super super easy to do something good with buying one of their watches. And you can also get 35% off their watches with my code and I'm also going to link it in the description box below. And yeah, thank you so much to Nord Green for sponsoring this video and let's get back to work. And here you can see my partner for a presentation in international criminal law. So we just had a Zoom meeting where we talked about what exactly we want to do with the presentation, how we want to structure the handout, you know, any little questions that we have, clarified some of the legal issues of the case, and that's pretty much everything that we did. Um, just to make sure you know that our presentation on Saturday was gonna go well because it was Thursday, so we still had a few days, but you know, we needed to finish it up. And then I needed a snack, so I made myself a little chocolate Pop-Tart. I absolutely love Pop-Tarts because I just feel like, you know, they're a great little snack and they taste amazing. And then it was time to book myself a train ticket because I do have an in-person class on Saturday, which I'm gonna hold a presentation in, so, I need to be in Regensburg for that. So book myself a train ticket and then it was time to go back to my Google Drive and keep working on the presentation that I'm doing with the other student in international criminal law. Basically, I just went over our research document and then back to the presentation and just edited my parts and tried to add everything that I needed to add. And then I was in another Zoom meeting, which was for a committee of the Cambridge University Human Rights Law Society. I am still on the committee and helping them with their website, so I just attend these meetings virtually. Since most of the things are virtual, that's fine. And then I left our house for a little bit, and yes, it looks pretty dirty in our corridor because it was storming that day. And look at that, we went to the McDonald's. I love McDonald's, so I was so, so happy that I got to have McDonald's that evening and we just ate that. And yeah, then it was time to pack because I did leave for Regensburg the next day. I always leave the day before my class because my class starts relatively early in the morning. So I just took out my packing list, which I have in my agenda. And then I just took everything out that I want to bring to Regensburg for the weekend, which I'm going to stay there. I only go for the weekend because I really just have that one class on a Saturday. And it's not every Saturday, so it's not worth staying a whole week. And here you can see what I have here. So this is basically the bag that I'm going to bring onto the train. So just a book, my umbrella with a little zip bag in case it gets wet and you know just some basic stuff for the train ride, a few clothes so that I have some changing clothes and then also all of the things for my hair which I'm just going to throw into a zip bag so that I can make some cute hairstyles while I'm there and yeah then just you know some of my documents, my laptop and then I also had to bring my medicine because I have an autoimmune disease. It's not bad at all, I just need to remember to take my meds, which is why I always bring this pink little box with me wherever I go so that I remember every day that I have to take them. And then also my outfit for the train ride, I just put that one to the side because I'm not going to pack it, I'm going to wear it that day. And now obviously there are some things that I couldn't pack yet, like for example my hairbrush, things like that, because I still need them. So I wrote those down on the screen post-it and I'm going to put them in the day that I'm leaving. And yep, yeah, then I pretty much just put everything that I had on my bed into a small little suitcase and into the bag, and then I had everything packed. 
and then it was pretty much time for bed because I was tired so I just quickly showered and you know put my hair in braids because that's how I usually create my curls overnight I do have naturally curly hair but I think that makes your curls look a little bit nicer and then I put on my big headphones because I do sleep with sleep stories from Calm which is super super helpful for me because otherwise I will just end up staring at the ceiling for hours for no good reason and you know contemplating the existence of the universe um, this is not sponsored, um, I just listen to the app pretty much all the time. And yeah, then I just fell into bed and it was time to go to sleep. So yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye!